Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline Noel and I post videos every Wednesday on fashion, lifestyle, and travel content. So if you're interested in any of those things, don't forget to like and comment on this video as well as subscribe to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a fall collective haul. It has been a minute since I did a collective haul and that's actually intentional because I told you guys at the top of the year that I wanted to like re-examine my shopping habits to make sure that I was making intentional decisions with the things that I was buying and while I feel like I have strayed like a little little bit I feel like I have mostly stayed to that plan I haven't kept anything that I don't like so I've definitely been big on returning things I feel like one of the stores that I love a lot Zara she be pissing me off y'all she pisses me off because the quality is going down and the prices are going up so I feel like because I've had a couple of bad experiences with them, those are still my girls, okay? We got a couple pieces from her in this haul. I've now like ventured into shopping at other places. So I would say the price point of my clothing is starting to change just a little bit as I invest a little bit more in pieces that I feel like are a little bit better quality and better for the price. But I got a whole bunch of stuff to show y'all. So with that, let's just get right into the video. All right, so first off, we're going to start with some accessories or some jewelry. If you guys watched my trends video, which actually, I don't know if that trends video is up by the time you guys are watching this, but regardless, if you've watched any 2023 fall trends video, you'll know that statement jewelry or accessories are very in right now. And as much as I just, you know, talk mess about Zara, one thing that they are getting right are their accessories and jewelry right now. They have so many great options for statement jewelry at a low price. And I had to pick up a couple of things. So I just wanted to show you guys what I grabbed. So the first piece I'm gonna show you guys is actually a bracelet that I just recently grabbed. And this is what it looks like. I will definitely link it down below if you're interested in shopping this piece. This does come with a matching necklace as well. I personally, I didn't love the necklace, but now that I have the bracelet, I kind of want the necklace. So this is just like a cuff. Now you can wear it like down low on your wrist if you want. I have like an infant size wrist, so I just pull it up on my arm. Let me move my other bracelet out the way so you guys can see. I just pull it up on my arm and just wear it as a cuff. It does twist, so it's gonna fit like a little awkward at first, but this is what it looks like. Y'all just ignore this bracelet. This is what it looks like on me, and I absolutely love it. I think that this is such a pretty piece. To me, this screams statement because how often are you walking around with a twisted arm cuff on your arm, right? Not very often. And this is a great price point. I want to say it's like maybe around 20, 20 to 25 dollars. And I think that that's a pretty fair price. The quality of this is good. It feels nice and sturdy. So I'm definitely happy that I picked this one up. And I actually did just recently wear this when I went to the Beyonce concert. I'll see if I can pop in a picture if I have any with me wearing this, but would definitely recommend if you guys are interested. The next um, pair, or next piece of jewelry that I have from Zara are a pair of earrings. I apologize, you guys. If the light is changing, I'm in my new space, trying out something new and the sun is going in and out. So just bear with me. But the next items that I have are a pair of earrings from Zara. This is what they look like. They're just like, I don't even know how I would describe them. They're just a white pair of earrings. And if I put like, I have earrings on right now, but if I put them on, they would just hang down like this. Like I just thought that these were so cute i feel like we typically see jewelry in like a silver or a gold but when i saw these and they were white or they're more like a cream i was like you know what these are actually really cute so like i said they just kind of like hang down on your earrings like so i have thick curly hair so you can't even tell when i have on earrings really but these i liked because you could tell that they were hanging down i feel like they would be cute if my hair was in a bun as well this is what the closure looks like on the back so it has like this little piece right here and then it has the regular like butterfly type of closure in the back as well now for me lightweight earrings are very important i do find that zara's earrings tend to be a little bit on the heavy side when they're bigger these are extremely lightweight like for me they don't bother me at all so very happy with these and would recommend and then the last pair of earrings that i have are actually a pickup from nordstrom don't sleep on nordstrom open edit y'all they got a good they got some good pieces okay so these are another pair of earrings let's see if these will focus 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 i think they're focused we'll see uh, this is what they look like though they are a pair of actually clip-on earrings which 
I'm not mad at a clip on earring. Okay, I'm not mad at that because like I said, I like stuff that is lightweight on my ears. You literally just can clip these and go. They are, they have texture. I don't know if this is focusing y'all, I'm sorry. They have texture on them and they're almost like a, um, like a diamond type of shape. I'm a really big fan of these and these didn't cost me more than I think $25. So very happy with these and I love all of my new jewelry additions to my wardrobe. So we'll just keep going with accessories. So I have two new bags to show you guys. Now one of these is not a bag that I'm going to get a ton of use out of, but as you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, I am engaged. I will be getting married. Not sure when, but I'm going to be getting married. Um, and a lot of the fall sales have been taking place. So I picked up something that screamed very bridal, but yet on trend because clutches are on trend right now. So I thought I would show you. It is an item from Cult Gaia, if you guys can see the box right there. And it is a very, very beautiful, like art style piece. This is the Fauna Clutch from Cult Gaia. As you guys can see, it has like their traditional, like acrylic style for the bag. But then if you look at the top, the top are actually leaves, which I think are so, so beautiful. Like this feels like, people always say like fashion is wearable art. To me, this is the definition of like wearable art. I think that this is a gorgeous piece. I saw it and I felt like, I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it for, which is a terrible, terrible way to shop. Y'all don't be like me. I just, I loved it. It screamed bridal to me. So I grabbed it. This is how you open it up. So there's a, there's like a little latch right here and you just pop it open right there. And it's just a little clutch bag. It's not meant to fit very much. It's literally just a clutch bag, but I saw this and I just had to grab it because I loved it so much. And I thought that it was so beautiful. So this is the first bag that I recently picked up. Also on sale, y'all. Y'all know I love shopping on sale. So I got this on sale. And then the next item that I want to show you guys is another item hold on let me just move that out the way is another bag this is a bag that i picked up via the essence sale which by the time this video goes up unfortunately the essence sale will be over but y'all if you are interested in shopping like designer or like brand name type of pieces but for way better prices essence literally always has good codes like Right now their code is 15% off. In the winter time, they do like a super big designer sale. Same thing in the summer, so y'all keep your eyes out on that. This is actually a, I guess like a rebuy of an existing bag that I, an existing bag brand. What am I trying to say? This is a bag, I have this bag in a bigger size from the same brand and I just bought a smaller bag basically. Sorry y'all, it's Sunday, it's late in the day. But anyway, I picked up the uh, mini moon bag from Stodd. Again, if you guys have seen my videos, I think I did like a handbag, summer handbag videos. I talked about the uh, bigger moon bag that I picked up, like the Raffia detailing for Neiman Marcus during the summertime sales. Well, Stodd it was part of the Essence sale and I saw this one and I absolutely loved it. So I did pick it up. This is the smaller size and as you can see, it's wrapped up right now, but it does come with a crossbody strap. I am a very, very big, big fan of Stodd bags. I think the quality for the price that you get, like this was maybe like $200. I feel like $200 for a bag of this quality, of this leather, of this color, like, all of it to me screams worth it. Now, I don't know if this is actual leather or vegan leather, but regardless, I mean, I pay around like 200 something for my Brandon Blackwood bags, which aren't, you know, pure leather. So I feel like for this, it's also definitely worth it. This color screams fall to me. I love the crossbody option. So I was very happy to pick this item up and add it to my closet for fall. All right, y'all, the next item that I wanna show you in my collective haul is a pair of pants from a brand called Helmet Lang. I have recently become a very big fan of Helmet Lang over the last couple of months. Um, I haven't picked up any pieces yet, but I've just had my eye on a couple of things that I really like. And so when I was in Houston last week, again, I love to, I love to shop on sale. What can I say? I love a good sale. Saks is doing their family and friends sale. So there's 25% off new fall arrivals. I saw these in person, tried them on and I fell in love. Now these fit a need in my wardrobe right now. I wanted to diversify the types of bottoms that I have. I have jeans, I have sweats, and that pretty much is it. Um, in the spring, I focused a lot on getting more skirts, so I had, like invested in maxi skirts. And now it's time to invest into some more fall friendly pants. So I picked up these pair of black trousers from Helmet Lang. I'm gonna have to pop up a try on because I'm sitting down so y'all are not gonna be able to see them. They have an elastic waistband right here, um, faux pockets in the back, which is a pair of black pants. 
What I love about them though is they have, if you guys can see, the um, helmet laying like detail or um, branding going down the side of the pants. So I feel like that striping going all the way down makes them a little bit more casual than a typical trouser. Now, these are like a trouser type of material. So these are definitely a pair of pants that I would be comfortable wearing if I had to go into the office. I could wear with a blazer, a blouse, throw on some heels. Like you could dress, definitely dress these up. But what sold me on them was the versatility because I feel like these are also a pair of pants that you could easily dress down with some sneakers, a sweater, a t-shirt, a little bodysuit. Like there's so much that you can do with these pants and because they have the elastic waistband, to me, they're more friendly for my body. I will say that they run small. No, they run large in my opinion. I went down to a size two. I'm not a size two in anything, okay? I'm just not, right? So when I tried these pants on, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, but the girl was like, no, they just run kind of big, which is fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, but I absolutely love these. Like I said, I did pick these up on sale from Saks. These are an example of an item in my closet where price point, they're typically, this is higher than what I would typically spend on clothing, but I felt like I could go, you know, buy some pants, some black pants that maybe weren't the best quality for a lower price, or because I have the means to do it right now, I could spend a little bit more of the quality I could wear these all fall long and definitely get my cost per wear. So I decided to lean in that option and I'm so happy that I did. As you guys will see in the try on, these are extremely big on me in terms of the length. So I do have to get these tailored, but once they are tailored, I cannot wait to start wearing them. All right, y'all, we're racing the sun. So I hope it's not too dark um, on the video, but this next pickup is also an item from Essence. Like I mentioned, I did a little bit of shopping in their fall um, sale that they're doing right now. This next piece, is like the perfect example of like a creative take on a pretty basic piece of clothing that just takes it up to another level. Again, I'll pop up a cutaway because I'm sitting down, but y'all, I picked up this skirt from Y Project, which it looks like a denim skirt, right? It's just like a regular denim skirt. But then you hold it up and it has this cutout here in the front. Oh baby, the skirt eats. The skirt eats. I first saw it on one of my mutuals on TikTok and I was like, where did she get that skirt? It's so cute. I couldn't find it in the hue, like the shade of denim that I wanted. Then I checked on Essence. Lo and behold, there she was. So they have it in this blue denim color. They also have it in a black denim. I opted for the blue for right now. Not to say that I one day will not go back and get the black, but for right now, I think that this made the most sense for me. So like I said, this skirt is from Y Project via Essence. I typically wear a size 26 in jeans um, and the sizing does go like 26, 28, 30, etc. I got this in the, hold on, let me tell you, I'll see you know which size to get. I got this in a size medium, which I believe coincides with a US 28 on the website. And I feel like the waist is a little bit loose on me, but it's not something that's like detrimental. I like this one better than the small because it fit my hips and my butt a lot more comfortably. I feel like I could sit down, move around, all that stuff. So. I'm obsessed with this skirt. The slit makes it so fun. It's a maxi skirt, which aligns to my personal style. And this is an example of things that I'm looking for, right? Something that has like a fun creative take on a basic piece of clothing that you can just wear over and over again. Like at its core, this is just a denim skirt. You can get so much wear out of it, wear it so many different ways. So I am so happy that I finally got my hands on this and that I decided to pull the trigger on it. So the last item from Essence that I wanna show you guys is actually a pair of shoes from a brand that we have all heard about, whether good or bad things. Um, but it's my first time shopping from this brand and it is from Amina Muwadi. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's coming a little bit, um, a little bit washed out because of the light. But anyway, I have a pair of shoes from Amina Muwadi. This is my first pair of heels from Amina Muwadi. They're not like the traditional style of sandal from her. But when I first saw these on net porte I fell in love because they just look like the perfect, like neutral shoe for the fall. Where I live in Tennessee now, it's warmer. Like I'm not used to it being this warm in September going into October, but surprise, surprise, it's still 80 plus here every single day. So a sandal for the fall made sense for me. So I just wanna show you, I'm gonna stop talking and just show y'all what they look like cause they eat, okay? Look at this heel. Let me just give you a few seconds to take it in. What? Do y'all see this? This shoe is stunning, okay? This is a nude PVC heel from Amina Muwadi. It's a mule. Now, 
I'm not a big PVC girl. I know that like the PVC clear had its moment. It wasn't really for me, but when I saw these, this brown, and they were styled on a white model and she looked great in them, but I was like on brown skin, these are going to look so good. And they sure do, they sure do. So I did pick these up. They were part of the Essence sale and I'm so happy to have them. I'm just, I'm inspecting them, making sure that they're okay. But they are good to go. I absolutely love them. I typically wear a size seven and a half or 37.5. In Amina Muwadi, I do go up to a size 38 and these fit me perfectly. I just feel like these shoes, I find them to be pretty comfortable actually. When I say comfortable, like I'm not a girl who's gonna be walking around in hours for high heels. If I know I'm going somewhere that requires me to walk a lot, I'm wearing flats, okay? I'm wearing flats. But from testing these out, I do feel like they are a pretty comfortable heel considering, you know, the tall heel height. But like I was saying, I think that these are a perfect shoe for the fall because they will go well with so much literally because of this neutral color. I'm obsessed, so happy to have them. I think they come in black, like just a regular black, not PVC as well. And I'm very much considering adding those to my wish list because I absolutely love these. So if you're interested, y'all, next time Essence does a sale, I mean, Muwadis typically are part of the sale. Make sure you go and grab these, okay? Make sure you go and grab them. So I have two items from Zara that I forgot to mention at the start of the video when I was talking about Zara. We're having a love-hate relationship right now. That's okay, it happens. But at the end of the day, Zara does have some very great pieces for, you know, a relatively affordable price, depending on who you are. And I'll leave it at that. You know, we, we going at it right now, but that's okay. So the first ones are, I'm gonna pop up a picture um, because they're in the laundry right now, are a pair of cargo pants. Now cargo is definitely still on trend, still going strong. These cargo pants, I actually have them in two colors. I got them in the cream in the springtime. And now for the fall, I got them in like a light, it, lightish gray color with like cream, um, detailing on the on the seams i absolutely love these pants they do run a little bit oversized i got my true size because i wanted them to be a little bit baggy i find these pants to be so versatile they have an elastic waistband um, and a tie in the front i've worn these pants for like a work conference of being out all day like on the expo floor i've worn them to travel i've worn them to my fiance's football games like i have worn these pants a lot and i'm such a huge fan i find them to be so so comfortable and they're very stylish like they do get wrinkled pretty easily i will add that but they're a very stylish casual easy pair of pants to wear and i definitely love them i think they go for 69.90 and personally that's a little high for zara pants but i think that they are 100 percent 100 percent worth the price in in my humble opinion i love them the second pair of pants that I picked up from Zara, I don't think I shared these in a previous video, are a pair of black trousers. Again, I'll pop up a picture. These pants are a dupe of the Acne Studios trousers. The Acne Studios pair, which are available on Essence, will run you some serious coins, okay? If you wanna try out the style, but don't wanna like overly invest, in the Acne Studios pants. I would 100% recommend these Zara pants. Again, they, the sizing is a little bit off. I went down to a size small, I'm typically a size medium. They are long, so I'm gonna get them tailored as well. But they have like this flap across the front that makes the pants just look a little bit more edgy and more stylish and more chic than your typical pair of black trousers. So I absolutely love them and I'm super happy to have had them. Um, I think Zara has them in another colorway or like another material available right now. So if you're interested, I would definitely go and check those out. And then the last item from Zara that I'm gonna show you guys are a pair of shoes. One moment, sorry y'all. So here are the shoes from Zara. Now these are a staple I think in anyone's fall winter wardrobe. And that's gonna be a pair of black closed toed shoes. So I picked up these closed toed pumps. They're not like, they're not quite a sling back, but they are open in the back. So technically, call them that but not the train interrupted me rude okay anyway these are the uh the pumps that i picked up from zara i don't know if it's coming across well on camera but they do have like a like uh croc effect type of um finish on them which i really like they have um, a buckle here and it wraps around your ankle like so the thing with the sizing on these i am like between them i'm between a seven and a half and an eight and i don't know if i should have went up to an eight in these but they still do fit they do fit me so just keep that in mind um these go for like 49.90 i believe on zara's website which i feel like is a pretty good price for a pair of shoes that you could wear 
literally into the ground because they're so versatile so i would def definitely recommend these if you are interested so those wrap up all my pieces from zara and we've just got a few more left all right y'all so we are on to our last couple of pieces and these are going to be from hanifa now if you guys have followed my channel you will know that i have a couple of pieces from hanifa i've had some hits and some misses from hanifa but overall i 100 percent support the brand i love what she stands for i love her creativity the quality of her pieces is very strong the return policy truthfully is not my favorite but you know that's neither here nor there but if you are interested in shopping hanifa pieces the pieces can be um a little bit high i consider it to be like a contemporary brand so some of her pieces can like hit that you know five six hundred dollar price point but she has a lot of pieces that are like three hundred dollars and under so for me i think that that's pretty reasonable considering that she is an independent independent black designer and I definitely want to support her black woman owned business so that's my little Hanifa spiel but anyway I just wanted to show you guys a couple of pieces that I picked up from her most recent fall winter drop and y'all it was good it was so good some of the pieces I don't have here in person because I'm in the process of returning and getting them in a new size because Hanifa sizing is a little bit all over the place but what I do have to show you in person y'all these shoes let me let me just show you everybody's been talking about how metallics silver has been you know the popular the popular girl on the block for the last you know couple months everyone's doing their take but nobody is doing it like Hanifa did with these shoes shut up do y'all see these these are so freaking cute okay let's walk through the details of the shoe I'm gonna just hold up one and then I'll grab the other one these are a metallic silver sandal okay the heel i would say it's not higher than four inches maybe this is like three three point two five maybe okay so it's a metallic sandal it has the gold hanifa right here on the branding we love that i had previously ordered a pair of silver mules from hanifa and the quality was not the best i tried them on and like the inner lining on the tongue the material actually started coming off of the shoe that is not a problem with this one they heard the customer complaints and they fixed the quality which i'm so happy about so like i said it's a sandal it has a thong part part in the middle so just keep that in mind and there is a little leather strap that goes across the front of your foot for security i do not find this leather strap uncomfortable at all my foot has more than enough room and then it comes down to the thong um, front detailing here the star of the show the little shapes in the front such a freaking cute whimsical creative type of detail so this shoe has a circle or a sphere and this shoe has a cube like are you kidding me these are so freaking cute now one thing i will say is that like the shapes kind of move back and forth on the shoe so just keep that in mind that they're not like a super steady piece they're not gonna fall off i don't think um but they do like just as you guys can see like move around a little bit i feel like when i look at this shoe I see a mix of like a wake mode Jacques Mousse. I don't know if you guys have seen that like silver Jacques Mousse bag that's really popular right now with like the metallic silver clutch with the square and circle um, like details on the part that you hold. These are like a mix of like Jacques Mousse, a wake mode, and Hanifa all in one gorgeous pair of shoes. And I'm obsessed. Okay, I got my true size 37 and a half. They do fit me. Um, they're like roomy enough that I feel like my foot is comfortable, but not too big. So I would recommend going true to size. If you can get your hands on these, y'all, I've been talking about these shoes for three minutes straight. They're worth three more minutes of conversation because these are beautiful. Okay, I have so many ideas of how I'm gonna wear these already. If like the perfect silver shoe, if you weren't sure if it exists, it exists right here. Okay, this is the shoe. This is the shoe so before i wrap up i just want to tell you guys about my other two hanifa pieces which i'll pop up some pictures um over to the side because like i mentioned in the process of getting them reordered for sizing so the first one is this knit sweater i think i'm gonna pop it up over here it is a blue cropped knit sweater i thought that this was so pretty it was something like totally different to anything that i have in my wardrobe it kind of pushed my style limits it has this super long sleeve detailing i had to roll it up actually uh, one more time from the original styling so that i could actually show my hands now if you are into good quality knits hanifa's knit is so good it's thick it's stretchy but the quality is fantastic so like i said hanifa sizing is a little bit all over the place 
I typically wear a smaller Hanifa clothing because I size down, but in this sweater, because it is very chesty, I'm gonna go up to a size medium, um, just because I feel like that will give me a little bit more coverage that I'd prefer, um, you know, for my, for my girls, okay? Um, I love this sweater. The button in the front where like the sweater comes together, it actually does not come apart, so that, that stays closed permanently, but I absolutely love this piece and I was very happy to have picked it up. The color is so vibrant and beautiful and I see myself wearing this with like high-waisted trousers, high-waisted jeans in the fall for date night, for brunch, like so many ways to wear this. And the last piece that I got are the, um, the I can't think of the name right now, but they are the trousers with like the fold over waist detail love 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 those i mentioned to you guys that i'm interested in like diversifying my bottoms i saw these i felt like they would be a perfect trouser for dinner for the office for travel like you could wear these so many different ways and they're extremely comfortable i got them in my normal size medium um, but i'm going to go down to a size small because i feel like the mediums are pretty big on me and they are long so i'd have to get them tailored regardless of size but absolutely love these obsessed with hanifa pieces if you're interested in hanifa y'all please do shop Hanifa because her pieces are so good. All right, you guys, so that rounds out my fall collective haul. Let me know which pieces down below you liked, which ones you wanna shop, what you're interested in, or even what pieces you're shopping for this fall winter so we can share some notes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, links to everything that is, that is available will be um, listed down below. Don't forget to like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more fashion sit-down content coming your way. So I'll see you guys in the next one.